So why do we want to implement stretching while we're at work? Well, there's a few reasons why it's so important to do that. The first one is that it actually reduces fatigue. So as you stretch an area of your body, it increases the blood flow to that area of your body. And in turn, that means that you feel more awake and limber and ready to work. Another great reason you should be stretching when you're at work is that it improves your posture. Standing or sitting for long periods of time is really gonna take a toll on your spine. And good posture reduces the risk of neck, shoulder, and back aches and pains throughout your day. And then the last reason that you should be stretching at work is because it relieves aches and pains. So stretching is intended to be a preventative measure, meaning it's supposed to stop the pains before they happen. But in those moments where those pains come on, using stretching to alleviate the pain will definitely help and it'll also help you prevent future aches and pains. So now we'd like to show you some very simple stretches that you can do anytime, anywhere. First, we're gonna start with some stretches for our neck. So Trevor is in his office chair. You can also do this standing up, so you can really do it anywhere. So Trevor's gonna look over his right shoulder, hold that for a few seconds, and then look over your left shoulder, hold that for a few seconds, look down towards your chest, and then look up towards the ceiling. From this position, you're going to roll your neck clockwise a couple of times. Very good. And then counterclockwise a couple of times. Good work. Next, we're going to focus on some wrist stretches. So Trevor is again seated, but remember you can do this standing up as well. So what I'm gonna have Trevor do is he's gonna take his right arm, reach it out in front of him. He's gonna roll his arm over and face the palm out. Gently grab his fingers with his left hand and pull it back so that he's stretching this whole part of his arm as well as getting mobility in his wrist. After a few seconds, he's going to rotate that over. He's going to tuck his thumb in, grab his hand and pull the other direction. So his forearm right here is getting stretched as well as the top part of his wrist and getting some mobility there. After he holds that for a few seconds, he will go to the other side and repeat. Okay, the next area of our body we're gonna focus on is our back. And this is a very important area because so many people complain about back pain. So for this stretch, you will have to get out of your office chair. You're gonna stand beside your desk. Trevor's gonna fold forward in a very relaxed state. His neck is relaxed, he's not crunching it up or bending it too far forward. He's just leaving it very neutral. His hands are hanging. He's not pulling on anything. He's not forcing the stretch. He's just hanging to get some elongation in his back. Now, once you're in this position, you will sway your body left and right, keeping your legs straight and still, you're just swaying your upper body to get some movement in that back and get some pains worked out. Now let's focus on our hips and our glutes. So Trevor is seated in his office chair. You will need to be seated for this stretch. So take your right leg and you're going to cross your ankle on top of your left knee. Once you're in this position, you're gonna use your right arm to put a little bit of pressure on that right knee, not much because you don't wanna hurt yourself, and then take your body and lean forward as far as you can to get the stretch in that glute and that hip. After you hold it for a little bit, you know, 10, 15, 20 seconds, release and you'll repeat on the other side. The next area we're gonna look at is our hamstring. So this is the back part of your leg. So again, Trevor is standing. You can do this from a seated position, but you won't get as deep into the stretch. So he's gonna stand, he's gonna take his right leg, extend it out in front of him with his toes flexed up towards the ceiling, bend your body forward, reach for your toes and pull those toes up. Now he's stretching that whole right hamstring. Hold that for 15, 20 seconds and then switch sides to get the other side. Our last area we're gonna take a look at is our calf muscle, which is the lower back side of your leg. So what you wanna do is you need to be up and out of your chair for this one. You can come to any wall or a door jam like we are here. So you face it, put your hands on it, straight up against the wall. Then you step your right foot back, lean forward to the wall with your right leg straight. And as you do that, you're stretching that calf muscle here. Hold that for 15 or 20 seconds and then switch sides. 
So each of these stretches that we showed you today can be done in as little as five or 10 minutes. All you need to do is do each stretch and hold it for 30 seconds, a little longer if you feel the need to, but start in the areas of your body where you're feeling pain first and then move to the other areas to cover all the different areas of your body. Doing this is gonna help you prevent future aches and pains.